Hi, and welcome back to the program. As is more often the case than not, the real fun things go on during the break. I mean, people should have been here during the break when we were having that conversation. That probably was the most entertaining, but let me introduce my guest to you. I have sitting next to me Brian Skinner, who is affiliated with the Skyland Baptist Church. That was just the shortest title we could come up with. Okay. okay. Good enough. Okay. Then also we have, sitting in the middle of the couch, we have Chuck Beans, who plays Brad. And we'll explain that to you in a second. Then Amy Bird is on the far end of the couch, and she plays Angie. And uh, Brian is going to help me explain this a little bit. We're talking about a really neat play that's coming up in Tuscaloosa, and you may have already seen it. But it's called Let's Go to the Rock, and a very special performance that is coming up in September um, at the Bama Theater. But we're going to be talking about all of that, but let's just start at the very beginning. Let's Go to the Rock. What is it? Where did it come from? How come we have the youngsters out here? Amy is sitting here. I think I don't think she's extremely comfortable in her poodle skirt, but I'm, I'm telling you, this was very popular at one time, okay? <laughs> this was the going thing. You know, the poodle skirt, the flat socks, and the kids. I mean, that, that was just the way it went. What is this, Brian? What are we talking about? Let's Go to the Rock. It's, it's a play, apparently, that's been performed in Tuscaloosa before. Right. We, um, this is really a musical drama by Lynn Hodges and Jan Esterline. And uh, when I was a youth, we had musicals where you just stand on the stage and just perform and that was yeah. it you'd sing a solo here and there but actually these these two are just a few of about 20 or 25 people young people that will be involved more than just singing but they'll be acting and dancing and having just a good old time in an old malt shop type setting in the 1950s why and why this particular play why a, why a play that's set in the 1950s I mean. Well, in the, in the theme of the musical, it uh, portrays the um, meaning to show teenagers of 1990 uh, that their parents that grew up in the 1950s yeah. did actually go through the same things that they go through today. And it's hard for Brad and Angie, the characters here, to realize that their parents really went through problems of the 1950s. And uh, so what they do is they take them back in time and they actually see what it was like in the 50s as the mom and dad went through their teenage years. I take it that there, there are religious undertones to sure. the play that, that maybe help young people as far as their spiritual uh, education is concerned or whatnot, but does it go past any denomination? I mean, it, would this be something of interest to only Baptists or even only to uh, religious-oriented children? We would love to have anybody come and, and, and watch it. Um, obviously, the... Um, this type of production usually is put on by Baptist churches and Methodist churches, whoever. But uh, no, to answer your question, it's not just strictly for Baptists. We want everybody in Tuscaloosa to become a part of this. And our basic theme of the entire musical is to let people of today, the young people of Tuscaloosa, um, know that Jesus Christ is, is the answer. And I was just watching recently um, on TV, just, just last week, matter of fact, where kids in this area in this community were looking for answers on the weekend on something to do and i was kind of really baffled because if they would just go to jesus christ and go to the uh the church for answers then they would well that really that have... is one option a lot of young people do go to their youth groups right you know in their churches but then then there there are other youngsters perhaps that they have not found something in that area that particularly interests them so i think it is good that we have a variety of activities for young people. Good, constructive, clean, fun, as <laughs> right. they call it, without it being boring, okay? <laughs> and I think that's something that we, we want to say about, about this play, that it may be, um, may have religious undertones to right. it, but it is, it is not boring. That's right. And it's not lacking in fun, and it's not lacking in a lot of what? Song and dance and activity? Tell us a little bit. Angie, why not, or Amy, I'm calling you Angie, huh. keep her in character over here. Who is Angie? Amy, Amy Bird, of course, playing that part. Who is Angie? Well, in the play, Angie plays just a regular teenage girl who's, um, I think she's about 15 in the play, and she just um, doesn't really understand why her parents won't let her do the things that she wants, like um, she wants to go out and date, and they won't let her do it until you're not, they say you're not old enough and stuff. And she doesn't understand. She's like, well, you don't understand. And so, really, she's just um, a, just a regular teenager who asks, just wants to know why she can't do the things that she wants to do. And Can you truly believe <clears throat> in your own heart that these are, are things that your mom went through, maybe, when she was 15, 16 years old? Do you, do you buy into that? Do you think, yeah, you know, I, I guess maybe she went through the same thing? After, I mean, after you go through... Um, 
I guess the play help, helps a lot because it goes back and shows you. I guess everybody went through the same thing. You yeah. know, we all had to grow up, and so I guess they do. I mean, yeah. Do you think maybe you understand your mom and dad a little bit better yeah, now? kind of, in a way. Uh, yeah? <laughs> kind of. You still don't understand Not why wise, they wore those kinda. cool skirts and flat socks, do <laughs> no you? <kidding. laughs> Chuck, maybe you can tell us a little bit. You play, Chuck Beans plays the character of Brad. And uh, what have you gotten out of the play? Anything? Well, it just, <clears throat> the whole play in general just kind of helps you understand uh, a little more about why your parents say, no, you can't do this, no, you can't do that, things yeah. like that. Do you do you enjoy the play? I love it. Do you think it. it's a pretty good play? I mean, do you do you laugh with it? Do you have fun with it? Do you enjoy I'm it? Cry with it. Yeah, we have, we have a great time. I mean, I love doing it. I've been we've been doing it now. I guess what about three or four months? It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's been great. Do you think other young people will enjoy it, or do you think that maybe other young people's parents will get a bigger kick out of it, maybe than the young people will? Well, the, it's really for everyone. You know, we do it, the kids do it, and the, the songs. Or you know the parents can really relate to them better, but yeah, uh, you know, I think the kids could you know relate to it just as well as the parents could. About how many youngsters do we have that are involved in the play on an ongoing basis, Brian? There's there's about six main characters. There's yeah. Brad and Angie, then the mother and the father, who's played by Dave and Kate Kitchens at our church, have done a great job in performing and portraying the mother and the father roles of this uh, musical, and they. Uh, then there's two other, I guess you could call them main characters. There's the basic bully, yeah. who, who plays the part of Jake, played by Scott Barton. And uh, it's you, you always, any kind of movie that you ever see that's based in the 50s, the Back to the Future type, you know, there's yeah. always that that bully that, that always is putting someone else down and there's making fun. There's always a sweet girl, a nerdy guy, a bully, and We've your got mom the and nerd. dad. We've got the nerd, too. we got too, the nerd, too. Okay. With the glasses, with the tape <laughs> on and everything, played by Rodney Kirk, and he yeah. plays Ronald. And then there's a lot of supporting ca characters, uh, the class poet and that type, you know, that, that just make the whole musical gel together, I guess. But I guess to answer your question, there's probably between 20 and, five, 20 and 25 that are on stage the whole time. Now, I think, Chuck, didn't you mention something about this has been going, going on for, what, two or three months now? That y'all have been Yeah, we originally did it, I guess it was at the end of school, you know, July. Yeah. Something like that. Amy, did y'all travel around with this? Did you always perform this at Skyland Baptist Church, or did you go to other churches to perform it? Or? No, the first couple of times we performed it at, tr at our church at Skyland, uh -huh. and then we went off to other churches, like around Alabama, I guess that's where we've been, okay. to perform it, like a couple of other churches around. That kind of brings us around. I think, Brian, when you called, you said that was becoming a problem with school mm -hmm. back in, that there were a lot of requests for this play, Let's Go to the Rock, right. and uh, y'all were kind of... You didn't want to give up the, the idea of doing the play, but then again, it, it was getting a little cumbersome. Thus, we found a sponsor in, in the Bama right. Theater. And the, the night that we finished the production at Skyland Baptist, we said, man, we had so much fun, we didn't want to just stop it there after, after yeah. all the hours that were put into it. So we had several calls from other churches that wanted us to perform it at their church. And it got to be so many calls coming in uh, that we just said, well, why don't we just get one general location, like you said. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, well, the Bama Theater would be a good idea. So we just took one thing at a time. And it worked out great because, like you said, school is now back in session. Sure. And it's hard for the kids to come out at night and practice during school. And so um, that's why we chose one more weekend to just do it for everybody. What, so, what exactly are the dates for the Bama Theater? Saturday the 14th and the 15th of this okay. month. And uh, we, we decided to have two performances because um, if somebody can't come to the first one, they can come to the second performance mm -hmm. on Saturday night. The first one will be at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. The uh, drama lasts about 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. So those that want to come at uh, 5 can still be home in time for supper, and those that want to eat supper and then come can come back to the 7 o'clock performance. And then, of course, we'll have one Sunday afternoon as a matinee at 2 o'clock. What's the cost for attending the performance? The cost is free. Okay. So everyone, we don't want to have anybody excluded. There, we've tried to stress, I've sent letters out to the Minister of Music in Tuscaloosa. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to make anything off of this. We just want to uh, share the good news of Jesus Christ and, um, and like not, not... good, clean fun right, for teenagers not and anybody. parents alike. Right. Rated G. Bring That's the parents right. with you. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Chuck, I think everybody told me, if you want to know anything about witness wear, ask Chuck, ask Chuck. How come you? How, why, why are you the resident expert on witness wear? Uh, I don't know. I just, we, uh, you work there. I work there, you know. You work there. Well, uh, that makes you more of an expert than, than the next, perhaps. Well. These are the sponsors. 
for yeah, we're um, Let's Go to the Rock, Witness Wear. Christian Clothiers. Okay. And this is what's allowing y'all to put the performance mm -hmm. on at the Bama Theater. They're paying the cost for the rental. Free. And we need to very much uh, thank Bart Smelly, who owns Witness Wear, uh, who uh, is in Tuscaloosa with another church, Chapel Hill Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate him sponsoring us. Because is this we a local had, business? Is Witness Wear a local mm -hmm. business? We're a local business, but we're nationwide. Is that uh, so? We're a, a nationwide Christian t-shirt company. Uh, we're in all the Christian bookstores, the camps, retreats and things like that that go yeah. on, you know, through the United States. So the kids go to in the summer, they go to some camps and things like that. We're in all the those camps. Uh, we've just started uh, distributing our shirts, you know, directly into the youth groups. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of the kids just don't make it to the bookstores and things like that. And we just got a burden that we wasn't reaching a lot of the kids. And just uh, we started uh, contacting a lot of churches uh, around the area. Was well, uh, this kind of typical of, of the t-shirts you're talking about? This is This is one of our okay. most popular designs. It's uh, Just Do It God's Way. On the back. And I, think, I think you've got on one, too. Well, oh, no, this is the Let's Go to the Rock uh, shirt. That's, this the, is the, that's the promoter. This is the production shirt, right. Okay. So we all wanted to wear something related. I wore this. And She's wearing witness wearing. She's wearing her costume. Oh yeah, and Amy got to wear the coat. But on the back of this shirt, I wish we could show the back of this one. It's got just do Let's it. Scoot around a little bit. Scoot around a little bit. All right, let's okay. see if I can see back. What does it say here? Can we get? Just this. do it God's way. That's cute. That's right. cute. This, this think... is one of our most popular designs. This is one yeah. of the first ones. I'll tell you what. What do you need to turn all all the way around? Okay. Do you want to check? Yeah. Yeah. Get well, to... everybody knows the uh, okay. Bo Jackson. Just do it. No, you're not standing there long enough. Just stand there with your back. Okay. And give Sherry a second. There you there go. There you go. Okay, got to read fast with Chuck around, don't you? Oh my. <laughs> you know. Uh, now, this this it. came off of a Nike, uh, the Nike Just Do It Nike. Uh huh. Uh, we just kind of turned around a little bit and made a Christian, you know, saying slogan out of it. Well, the kids can really relate to it, you know. I was going to say the market again, though, is to the young people. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. As is with the play, let's go to the rock. I'm really kind of excited about this. I, I'd like to see these, these young people in there doing their act and whatnot. You've constantly referred to this as a musical. See, I haven't seen yeah. this. Brian called me up and explained it all to me. And I said, well, come on, show them. We'll talk about it. With it being a musical, um, what, do you have, do you have a, a band? Do you have an orchestra? Do it's, kids, it's, it's, do all, it's all by tape. The instrumentation is, is by uh, accompaniment track from a yeah. tape. Um, and a lot of times you think a musical is more like a... Um, I don't know that where you would sing with words mm -hmm. that portray the theme, but the, the solos in this one are just like normal solos from normal songs that uh, stress the theme of each song. Okay. So there's about ten songs in the whole musical, but between each song there's a, a drama uh, part, okay. a scene, and it changes from scene to scene between each song. Amy, do you have a solo? Did, yeah. did you sing? I know. Chuck, do you have a solo that you sing? His yeah. is more of a rap. rap kind of. And is, these yeah, two get... people came in here and told me that they thought they had a little bit of stage fright, and y'all go on stage <laughs> hey, they get up there, they, hundreds they... of people and sing solos. Yeah, yeah. they do it very what well. What could be so difficult about doing that? I couldn't do that. That would scare me. This is, you know, this is fun. This is okay, but doing that would, would scare me a little bit. Really excited about this. You say you, you have a lot of young people that have worked very, very, mm -hmm. very hard on this program. And uh, we'd like to see a lot of folks show up. Can't do better than the price. You know, <laughs> September 14th and 15th at the Bama Theater. It is open to the public. It is free, of course, that because of the sponsorship through Witness Wear. And um, y'all are really doing a good job. Brian's really proud of you. That's right. Yeah. Are you? Are y'all aware of that? He's, He's done a lot. Yeah. You're the choir choir director. Music, that's right. Music director. I didn't know that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nobody nobody had told me that. So I guess you just got everybody at the church. Are we talking about all Skyland? members or do you have church members from there's a lot the of people or? that in fact i had a, i wanted to if you gave me time just to thank a few people because sure. uh terry honeycutt is not with our church but we feel like she's a part of our church now she's from circle with the church and okay. she, she was responsible for all the drama and all the choreography all the dance line steps and everything mm -hmm. and then for my own church Jeannie gray and suzanne Sintel, who put the uh, costumes and the props and there's just elaborate s scenery that you just need to come see, you know, yeah. can't explain it, you just have to see it, that portrays the 1950s, Jeannie Gray and Suzanne Sintel. Then we also uh, need to thank Mark Feldman, who uh, you may know that name. Yeah, I know Mark. Of Tuscaloosa, mm -hmm. and he, uh, uh, he's helping with the drama as well, and he's very familiar with the Bama Theater, so we wanted his expertise. Wow. And we want to thank Mark Smelly with Witness Wear, but I want to thank our pastor, uh, Jimmy Garner, 
and yeah. the kids love him to death, and uh, our church loves him to death, and he's a great man, and he, and without the support of a man like him, it would really have been hard to put this on because we've spent a lot of extra time where we should have been in another aspect yeah. of the church on Wednesday nights and even Sunday afternoons where we took away from other parts of our services where he and he let y'all do that oh, yeah. and, and did not complain very, huh? very <laughs> well, I appreciate it what are you going to do with this after we're kind of talking about with the the Bama theater performances being the swan song on September the 14th and 15th what would y'all do kind of put this on mothballs maybe bring it out again with another group of youngsters or you know next that. time <laughs> let y'all direct and, and do the choreography and bring yeah, up another group of youngsters <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. We hadn't really thought about it. We, in fact, the Bama Theater was just an afterthought. We, yeah. When we decided to do this back in July, we were just going to do it two times, and that was it. And it ended up being five times, and then six times, and now the Bama Theater will make, make seven, eight, and nine. So, I don't know. We make, we make it all the way with it. I, don't they, know. I was going to say, it depends <laughs> on, on how many curtain calls That's you right. get the uh, night and afternoon of September the 14th and 15th at the Bama Theater. It's Let's Go to the Rock. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I want to thank all of y'all for being out here. Thank and I uh, appreciate you taking time. See, this wasn't as difficult as you thought it was going to be, was it? <laughs> Say no. Say no. This was not as difficult as you <laughs> no. thought it was going to be. We had fun today. But thanks again. I do appreciate y'all being here. And uh, we're going to take a few minutes and, and take a look at uh, some of the previous performances of Let's Go to the Rock. Yeah. 
your youth production of Let's Go to the Rock. Sitting next to me is Mr. Brian Skinner, and he's the music director at Skyland Boulevard. And Chuck Beams, who is the lead character in the musical, joins us also. And you are a student at Shelton State. Mm. Thank you for taking time to come out, both of you, today. Thank you. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the musical. You, your church is involved in putting on a lot of productions like this. That's right, Kimberly. Our youth choir uh, consists of about 20 to 25 young people, ages uh, 13 to 18. Most of them are in high school, junior high. And like we said, he's at Shelton. We have a couple of them that just graduated. This musical is entitled Let's Go to the Rock. It's a 1950s musical that uh, helps the people of today, the teenagers that are growing up today, helps them to relate back to the 1950s when their parents were growing up. And the theme of the production lets the kids know that Jesus Christ is the real answer for all of their problems, and it also lets them go back and experience uh, what their parents experienced in the 1950s. A lot of the kids nowadays think that uh, their parents didn't have any problems back in the 50s, and the parents in this musical uh, show them that they did have problems and that they can relate to what they're going through today. Oh, nice. Who's sponsoring the production? Uh, Witness Wear Christian Clothiers. Um, I'm a salesman for the company. We're a nationwide Christian t-shirt company, and uh, we you know, distribute our product for all the Christian bookstores, mm -hmm. the, um, the camps that some of the kids go to in the summer, and the retreats and things like that. Um, and uh, we're picking up the tab for it. Fantastic. Tell me a little bit about your character. Well, I'm just a, uh, an average teenage guy. I'm probably about 17, I think, in the, in the play. <laughs> uh, you know, and I'm just uh, trying to my parents won't let me do what I want to do, and I get all mad, and then it goes back um, like a dream sequence. It goes back to them, and they're going through the things they did in the malt shops and dance and things like that, and uh, I just kind of, I'm looking on at what they did, and I mm -hmm. see that, you know, they did go through some of the things that, that I'm you know, going through now in a teenage life. Sounds like it's a lot of fun, yeah, a fun we, character yeah, to portray. It, it really is. Tell us a little bit about the, the, the production has been so popular. Why did you decide to do it at the Bama Theater? Well, we uh, had originally decided just to do it at our church back in July. So we had two, two nights that we did it in our gymnasium. And after the second night, we had so many calls from other area churches uh, that we started to go to, to all of them. Then we started thinking, well, it'd be too hard because school was about to start. And we had so many churches call that we just couldn't go to all of them. So uh, we did, were able to make a trip to First Baptist Church Reform where my father is filling in as interim music director there and down in Galleon Baptist, down in near Demopolis. Our associate okay. pastor, a former associate pastor was there. But we um, uh, decided to go to the Bama Theater because it was a central location for all the area churches. And I want to stress to them that uh, it is a free admission and we don't want to make any money off of it. We just want to share the good news of Jesus Christ to the young people of today and and everybody. And so we decided that this would be a good place to do that. What, as music director and working with, with the young people that you do, what do you see they get from being involved in, in activities such as Let's Go to the Rock? Well, I can see tremendous experience uh, out of it, especially to be able to perform it in such a place like the Banna Theater. When you perform it in a gymnasium, it's just, you know, it's fun and that kind of thing. But when you get into a theater, you actually see all that goes on to prepare something like this at, uh, at the Bama Theater. I feel like the kids have already told me that uh, some of them are probably going to pursue uh, even more drama careers and that kind of thing from this. So I know that experience is probably one of the best things that they can get out of this. Okay. Tell us uh, when the play date's for the production. Okay, it's going to be this Saturday, the 14th. And I was telling you when we were preparing for this that we tried to schedule it around the Alabama football okay. game. Of course, the game is this weekend, Saturday night. So we decided to have it twice, once at 5 o'clock and once at 7 o'clock. So we'll have two showings. It lasts about 45 minutes, and then we'll have a Sunday matinee at 2 o'clock. Okay. We want to say congratulations to you. You just found out that you're going to be a daddy. Today. That's so right. I was congratulations. Saying. This has been a great well, thank show. You. Thank you. And thank you for joining us thank as well. You. Don't go away. Kip and I'll be right back. Kip and I'll be right back.